Have you ever wanted to be fancy in the airport? Well, if so, all you need is one of these. It's true, Priority Pass is one of the best airport lounge access programs in the world right now, and one of the biggest as well. And depending on which credit card you may have, will determine your level of access that you receive within the Priority Pass network. And that's because Priority Pass memberships are not created equal. In fact, very few of them actually are. So today's video is dedicated to everything related to Priority Pass, including what it actually is, the main perks and benefits, how to use it, when to use it and all those types of things, including the main credit cards that provide it to you as one of their ongoing benefits. And we'll actually compare the different priority pass levels of membership and based on which credit card you have. So sit back, relax, get your fancy on because it's lounge time. Hey everyone, it's Mark. I'm here to help you put more money in your pocket through credit cards and smart financial habits. If that sounds good to you, do me a quick favor and click on the like and subscribe button down below. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten. To get $25 when you open a SoFi checking and savings account and deposit just $10 or more. And to view my all new site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. Please follow me over to my computer because Priority Pass 101 class is about to begin. First of all, what is Priority Pass? Well, it's an independent airport lounge access program and it includes access to participating airport lounges, airport restaurants, cafes and markets, and airport spas. There are currently over 1,300 locations in 600 cities across 148 countries, and that list is still growing to this day. Now, the majority of these are international. If you take all those 1,300 plus locations, I would say about less than 10% of them, at least right now, are within the US, so everything else is overseas. Now, when can you use it? Well, first of all, you can use any participating location, you can fly with any airline, and fly any ticket class, and you do not need elite status. And that's why you will not see any of the main US club lounges within the Priority Pass network. So you will not see the American Airlines Admirals Club, you will not see the United Club, and you will not see the Delta Sky Club. Those are owned and operated by their respective airlines, and you do you need either elite status or a membership or something like that to be able to get in, as well as flying with those airlines on a same day boarding pass. Now, some exceptions may exist. You might see some Alaska airline lounges that are partnered with Priority Pass. You might also see some international airline lounges that are also participating within Priority Pass. So, of course, that's why I do mention here that you want to use any of the participating locations and can use the app to determine which ones are going to be accessible to you. Lastly, here at the bottom, there also may be some entry restrictions, so check the app for those as well. Now, how about the main benefits and amenities? Well, these can vary by location and by lounge, but here's a little example of some of the things that you might see within their lounges. Complimentary refreshments, including alcohol, complimentary food and snacks, space to work or wind down, free Wi-Fi and charging ports, comfortable seats and quiet spaces, conference rooms, showers, and other facilities, and access to exclusive retail, dining, spa, and other sleeping options, which basically are the other partner locations as well. Next, we have to cover how to actually use Priority Pass. The first step is to enroll in the benefit if you got it from a credit card, and you can do this via the online bank portal or by calling the number on the back of your card and asking a representative to activate it for you. Now, because there are so many different cards from different banks that come with Priority Pass, I'll show you a few of those in a few moments here. Uh, the, of course, the process to activate or enroll here is going to vary based on the, you know, the card issuer because the Bank of America portal looks different than the Chase portal, which looks different than the Amex portal, etc. So uh, the quickest way to do it is just look for the benefits section in the main menu somewhere. And then under those benefits, you might see something about priority pass to then enroll. If you can't find it on the dashboard uh, in the main menu or in the rewards portal of your card, just call the number in the back, make it simple, and ask them to do it for you. Now, once you've enrolled in the benefit with the bank, you'll then receive your physical membership card in the mail in a separate envelope that Priority Pass will send to you. It might take a few weeks to receive it. There's a screenshot there on the right hand side of the screen that you're looking at of my card. It's literally this one here, just with the numbers covered up. Uh, so once you get that, it has your membership number. Once you receive it, then you move on to step number two here, which is to activate your membership at PriorityPass.com. On the Priority Pass site, that's where you'll create your profile with your login, so your username, your password. It'll prompt you for your um, basically your member ID on your physical card. And once you have that enrolled, you can also, of course, download the app if you want to. It's not required. And that's where you see my other screenshot of the digital membership card, 
with a QR code. Step number three is to then find a location via the Priority Pass website or the mobile app. And then the fourth and final step, which is the most exciting, is to then enter the lounge. So you can then show the following at the front desk, whether it's your physical membership card or your digital membership card or your linked payment card if eligible. I'll explain that in just a moment. They'll also prompt you for your boarding pass and maybe your ID if requested. So have those three pieces ready to go even before you walk in. That way the whole check-in process might take you a few seconds rather than minutes. Now, when I mentioned that linked payment method, here's a screenshot of a blog post by Frequent Miler titled, Priority Pass finally beginning to allow payment cards for lounge entry. I'll put the link to the full article down below in the description, that way you can go through it at your leisure. But what this is really saying is that finally Priority Pass is allowing you to show your Amex Platinum card, your Chase Sapphire Reserve or other card uh, as the method of entrance rather than having the card and also having your priority pass card. So basically it's gonna make your wallet thinner and there are fewer things to worry about and manage. From reading the article, apparently all that priority pass is requiring right now is that if you already have your priority pass membership, simply log into your priority pass account once more from a desktop computer and that will automatically trigger your payment card to then work as the method of entry so you can swipe your sapphire reserve going in instead of your priority pass card so we seem to be in the very early stages of this new rollout for this feature that's why i would still carry my at least my digital version of my priority pass card on my phone you can probably add it to apple wallet something like that that way you have it or even as a backup have your physical priority pass card because until this becomes a very easy streamlined process rolled out you know worldwide I might expect some hiccups before this really happens uh, without any problems. And now how about I take you all on a brief tour of one of the Priority Pass lounges that I visited while in Las Vegas. And we're off to the club at LAS, which is in Terminal 1 by Gate D33, by the way. Here's the main entrance right after the Toomey store with my Priority Pass physical card that I brought with me. Then we see the check-in desk with an agent to help me go through the process. And now we are in the lounge. Off to the right-hand side will be the restroom area. These are all individual suites. I believe there were six of them total, plus an attendant helping to keep everything nice and clean. Tons of lockers there to store your purse, your uh, backpack, your suitcase, whatever it happens to be then off to the left hand side plenty of seating right here so uh, also a coffee maker panels to monitor the, the different flight schedules uh, places to sit and relax eat even some lounge style beds which are pretty pretty nice over here a lot more seating and then the main area where all the food and the more dining style tables were found so this was still during the uh, kind of mid part the peak of the pandemic that we all went through so this is all being served by one of the representatives here normally this lounge is all self-serve so you will literally go in there and then have like you know your typical self-serve buffet so a lot of the stuff you're seeing now is all um single portioned and stuff like that again being served they have a lot of hot plates like you know uh eggs bacon and good breakfast stuff in the morning as well you saw some filtered and flavored water um as well Plus the bar area, bartender doing a great job over there, serving alcohol beverages, tons more uh, seating. Every single seat area, I believe, had um, charging ports close enough to where you can charge up all your devices. Also do plane spotting with some nice natural daylight right out there. So overall, really great experience. So now that we've talked about the lounge experience as part of Priority Pass's program, let's also quickly touch on the restaurants and spas. So for restaurants, this will be some discounts at, again, participating locations only. So search for them on the app and you typically will receive a $28 credit off of your total bill per person. The maximum though being two people. So that's you as the card holder plus one guest that you bring with you for a total of 28 times two. So $56 of a total discount off of your food and beverage. In order to secure your discount, what you wanna do is show your Priority Pass membership card and probably your same day boarding pass if they request that as well. Um, and then the credits will be uh, basically incorporated onto your receipt at checkout when you sign off on your bill. Uh, the card holder is responsible for additional charges. So for example, if you spent, let's say $65, you'd only get the $56 discount. And then anything over that, so nine bucks in this case, 
would be charged to one, you know, one of your credit cards that you also provide. Here's an example of a restaurant, Bobby Van Steakhouse at JFK International Airport. This is in Terminal 8, and I found this. It's basically just a screenshot directly from Priority Pass's website. So I searched for JFK, saw all the lounges there, and then this restaurant appeared in the list of available options. It shows you the opening hours, some important information, the location so you know how to get there, the facilities, and more as you keep scrolling. So you have all the information up front before you even arrive. And as for the spa locations with Priority Pass, these operate in a similar kind of way with the restaurants where you get a discount. An example might be a 30 minute massage at no cost to you out of pocket, except for the tips, which you may want to provide some gratuity if you want to. Uh, you might get a 15 minute massage plus aromatherapy or a discount on additional services. The menu might vary from one place to another. Again, for this to work, show your Priority Pass membership card and your same day boarding pass when you check into the spa. Guests are usually not complimentary in this case. Ask what their policy is when you arrive, but be prepared to pay for anybody else who's with you. And the cardholder, again, is responsible for additional charges that uh, go beyond the amount of a discount that you receive. Here's an example of the Be Relaxed Spa, also at JFK. This is in uh, Terminal 5. Uh, again, shows you opening hours, and some of their services there under the notes section, uh, the location, facilities, and more. All right, so we've covered a lot about Priority Pass here, and if it sounds good to you and you want to get your hands on a membership, how do you actually do that? Well, there are two main ways to do so. Number one is to purchase a membership directly at PriorityPass.com. They have three different levels. The standard is roughly 100 bucks. Standard Plus, roughly 300. And then the prestige level at roughly 430. The higher up you go in the tiers, the more visits you have bundled with your membership. That said, number two here is they can also get Priority Pass included with select credit cards. And that type of membership is just labeled as Priority Pass Select. That's why on my card here, you can see that it says select on the far right hand side in gold in vertical font. That simply means that I got it from my credit card. So here is a list as I make myself a little bit smaller here of what, 12 different credit cards, all of which include Priority Path as part of simply having the card and paying your annual fee every year. So we have the Amex Platinum card, both the personal version and the business version, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, Capital One Venture X, Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, Hilton Honors, all three of those here, basically the ones with annual fees, so the Surpass, the Business, and the Aspire. Then along the bottom row, we have the U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve, Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite Credit Card, City Prestige, and the Ritz-Carlton Credit Card. The bottom two there on the right, Prestige and Ritz, are uh, currently discontinued to new applicants. So here is a big list or chart that I've compiled for you all based on all the terms and conditions for all these different card products. Again, this is not comprehensive. So the 12 that I showed you on the last slide are the same ones that you see here. There are, of course, more credit cards that come with Priority Pass. But for the sake of visibility, I'm just including the top 12 cards that most people know about. So going from left to right here, I have the card itself on the left-hand column. Then we have access for the primary card holder. In other words, if you have the membership, what access level do you receive? Then in the middle column, we have access for guests. In other words, what is the guesting privilege for you as the primary card holder if you were to bring other people with you to the lounge or whatever location, and if they did not have their own membership? In column number four, we have AU membership, standing for authorized user membership. In other words, you as a primary card holder, if you add an authorized user to your account, Account, does that person get their own standalone Priority Pass membership? Yes or no. And then in the last column, number five there on the right hand side is restaurants. In other words, does your Priority Pass membership also give you access to the participating restaurant locations? So rather than reading every single thing on the page here, I'll let you pause it as long as you like to read over at your leisure, but I'll just bucket a few of these into major groups. Uh, the majority of these cards will allow you to have unlimited access for you as a primary card holder. Look at the Amex Platinum here on the top. And then in terms of guesting privileges, you can typically bring two free guests per visit. So three of you all in for no additional charge. And then if you bring more than two guests, you pay the day pass rate 
um, at that point, whatever that rate is at the time. Currently, as I film this video, it's 32 bucks. However, all the Priority Pass memberships issued by American Express do not currently receive access to any of the participating restaurants. Then for some of these credit cards that have lower annual fees, they typically give you more restricted access. So look at the Hilton Honors Surpass and Hilton Honors Business Card. Those have currently a $95 annual fee, where most of the other cards have fees that are about $400 or greater. So for those two Hilton cards, you can get 10 free visits per year, and then you pay the daily pass rate beyond that. For guests, you can bring a guest, but they will use one of those 10 free visits. So if you go with two guests, that means three out of your 10 total passes will be used. Authorized users on those cards do not receive their own standalone membership. And of course, as an Amex issued card, they don't get access to restaurants either. Then the US Bank Altitude Reserve is pretty unique here in that it gives you four free visits per year, day pass rate beyond that, but also four free guests per year, then the day pass rate beyond that as well. So that is not uh, separate. So guests cannot go by themselves. You must go with them. So if you go with a guest, then you'll use one of your visits. They'll use one of theirs. And you as the primary card holder cannot use the guest visit. So it's basically four visits for you as the primary card holder. And then if guests are with you, up to four of them when they're with you. I also want to point out two more things here. The number one card for Priority Pass access is going to be the Ritz-Carlton card that gives you unlimited access for you as a primary and for guests also unlimited as well. So if you've got nine guests with you, that's not a problem. And if you add authorized users, they also have their own membership and same unlimited guesting privileges. So you could bring 90 people if you wanted to into a lounge. I don't recommend that. Don't abuse your privilege and become the reason why new policies get enforced. And second, for any of you out there who happen to have the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite card, here are the terms and conditions about the guesting privileges that are extremely vague. The first one I underlined here says accompanying guests. The second one says that you and your guest slash guests can enjoy complimentary lounge visits. And the third underlining there at the bottom says certain lounges may restrict access due to space constraints and may have limits on the number of guests who can enter with a member. Nowhere does Bank of America define a number like two free guests. It just leaves it wide open. So I went over to the Credit Fraud channel. You can see one of his videos there for the popular uploads was that he did an unboxing of the Bank of America Premium Rewards Elite card. So he actually has it. So I then posted a comment on that video asking the owner of the channel, his name is Stan by the way, uh, if he knew what the policy was for the Priority Pass membership issued by the BOA Elite card. And here's what he said. Hey Mark, I tried to find this information just like you and scoured through the terms and conditions, promotional materials, and all that jazz, but I couldn't find a straight answer. So I did end up calling the Bank of America concierge asking about the guest policy. And they confirmed that yes, you are limited to up to two complimentary guests. So a big shout out to Stan over at the Credit Frog for helping me confirm those details of the BOA Elite card and helping me complete that overall chart with all those 12 cards together. And with all that said, if you enjoyed today's video and believe it could benefit other people, then please help me get it in front of them by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on notifications. Also check out the links down below in the description area to earn some more cash back when you shop online through Rakuten. To get $25 when you open a SoFi checking and savings account, and deposit just $10 or more, and to view my all new site with some great credit card offers that I've organized into different categories to help you find the cards that you like best. I thank you all for watching today's video. I hope it brought you some great value and a greater understanding of how to take advantage of your Priority Pass membership benefits or how to enroll for the first time if you haven't already done so. I look forward to seeing you all again in my future videos, and while you're waiting on my next upload, always remember that you are great.